All right. Welcome to our winter break terrific kid ceremony. Let's go ahead and give a round of applause, please. We appreciate everybody who is joining us and able to see this, but you can view this on the school's YouTube channel, Putnam.tv. Is that right? Putnam Schools. Putnam Schools. Excellent. So we are going to view that just in case you didn't get that. I just made something up, Putnam.tv. Maybe that's coming in the future. <laughs> All right. We want to give um, just a little bit of honor to the people that have partnered with us. So I'm going to read off some names for some business partners that we have. Um, Muscle Whites is a business partner, so you will be receiving something from Muscle Whites. Pax Karate, you can go ahead and clap, it ain't nothing wrong with that. Pax Karate, right? Burger King, yeah, somebody say yeah, we love Burger King. CP Deli, yes, that's local, we love to eat there. Beef O'Brady's, and we cannot forget, because I almost forgot them last time, but Mr. Overturf said, don't forget about them. I said, yes, sir. Zaxby's is also going to partner with us. We love Zaxby's. I want to just um, give a little bit of uh, uh, honor at this time to this young lady on my left over here, Miss Amber Simons. Y'all give it up for Miss Amber Simons. She so helps us. She is our assistant principal. She's so amazing. If you don't know, I'm Mr. Benford, our principal. And without further ado, we would like to introduce somebody very special. Mr. Overtof, if you could come to the mic and let us know. This is our biggest partner from the Kiwanis Club. Please give us a few words. Thank you, sir. And on behalf of fellow members Chris Keller and Mike Harrington and about 60 other members of Isaiah City, we just want to welcome especially our students and also all those that are viewing on, online, uh, the parents and grandparents and friends. We're certainly proud of every one of these students here at Mosley. Uh, this is a special place because it was 27 years ago, at the campus across the street, that we started Terrific Kids. So Mosley's a, a, a very special place, and we've honored a lot of great kids over the years, and today we'll do that. In a moment, he'll be reading to you what uh, the teachers have said, and sometimes even their own classmates have said. And of course, with the virus that we're all dealing with, and all you all have got a lot of challenges, but you're doing a great job. We're thankful for what you're doing, and we just say keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Overturf. We really appreciate that. He is definitely right. This is a celebration of students and what they have done and accomplishments. So we really appreciate you all for um, what you're doing inside and out of the classroom. So without further ado, thank you, Ms. Amber Simons. Without further ado, we are going to recognize Miss Kayla Offord from Miss Wright's class. Come on up, Miss Kayla. You are right here. Oh, yes, it's okay. I want you to smile for that camera. Fairness is a great character trait to teach pre K because we exercise this concept every day, mainly when we practice taking turns. Most of the time, Kayla will raise her hand and wait her turn to be called on to answer a question. Very good manners. I especially like how she models our classroom rules by respecting others' personal space. Kayla listens and follows the rules. She keeps her hands and feet to herself. She uses her inside voice, and Kayla is always nice to her friends. She's a great example of fairness because she thinks of her classmates first. She has really good manners, and they are displayed every day. I am so excited about Kayla's future, and we hope she will keep up the good work. We love you, Kayla. All right, here you go, sweetie. Hold that, baby. All right. So nice. Okay. Chloe Rogers, come on out. She is representing our terrific kid. Amazing. Let's see what they said about Chloe. She is such a helpful and quiet little person. Chloe represents all qualities to be chosen as my pre-K's classroom terrific kid. 
This little person is eager to learn and strives to learn new skills every day. Chloe is a perfect example to her peers when it comes to following classroom rules. Her terrific attitude and quiet spirit sets the tone for our classroom. We never have to prepare off task. She is always sitting quietly and waiting for directions. We love her. Although quiet, Chloe shows enthusiasm when asked a question or given directions. What a joy it is to be part of Chloe's learning experience. It is with great pleasure to present our terrific kid, Chloe Rogers. Keep up the good work, and we love you, says Miss Wright. Yes, we do. We love you. I, I just like how you wrote in there, quiet little person. I like that. All right. Isaiah Gaither, come on out, Isaiah. Isaiah's not with us, but from our directors from last time, I will read that for him, just in case we... So this is what they said about you, Isaiah. Isaiah comes to school eager to learn. He participates in whole and small group activities, centers, and music with little effort. He cleans up the play area with his team members and is eager to help the teacher in the classroom. Isaiah shows compassion to others and helps others in need. I am proud of Isaiah. Y'all give Isaiah a round of applause even though he's not here. We just gonna save his belongings. All right, moving along. That was pre-K, moving along to kindergarten. Kindergarten character counts, Madison Mag. Come on out, cheer. Madison is not with us either. Madison is not with us either. But I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna read. Here we go. This is about fairness. Fairness is the ability to be impartial and just in one's treatment to another. It is interaction with equality to any and everyone you come in contact with. These are exactly the type of qualities that Madison demonstrates daily with her peers. Madison brings joy and community to the classroom with an open heart and a smile that can brighten anyone's Day. That's what Miss Sam and Miss Mills said about Madison. Y'all give her a round of applause in her absence. Okay. So I don't think we have this young man here either, but I'm going to read that too. This is now starts our kindergarten terrific kid, Josavian Boone. Y'all give him a round of applause. Hard work, dedication, academic excellence and desire for growth are characteristics that define a great student. But to incorporate the ability to be charismatic and resoundable all while embracing diversity, then you create a terrific kid. Josavian Boone embodies these very traits. Josavian Boone is chosen as the terrific kid because he shows from the first interaction to the last interaction, how to treat people. Josavian puts forth all efforts to being an exemplary student and friend from inside and outside the classroom, says Miss Sam and Miss Mills. Amazing, Josavian. Just a side note, I really am going to have to get our teachers to start typing our penmanship. <laughs> Might need a little bit of help. Okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes we have a, a doctor's script handwriting. Y'all know how that works. All right, Mariella Mitchell, are you here today? You are not here today. But wherever you're at, we still love you. And this is what they said about you. Mariella is a wonderful, outstanding young lady. She's a hard worker and always asks questions to ensure that she understands what it is we are learning about. I love that she always tries to do well and tries her best even with hard tasks. Mariella is respectful of those around her and is always willing to lend a hand to those that need it. Mariella has made so many growths this year and loves helping others make growth as well. She's a great example of a terrific kid. 
I'm so glad that I have the privilege to teach Mariella this school year. That is what Ms. Dorn said about her. Y'all give her a round of applause in her absence. We need somebody to show up. Terrence Walker, are you here? Hallelujah, come on out. Did I say that right? Did I say your name right, baby? Okay, no? How you say your name, sweetie? Tierrance. All right, Tierrance, y'all give Tierrance a round of applause again. We got it right this time. Tierrance is a true example of what it takes to be a terrific student. She is kind, caring, smart, and hardworking. Anytime a classmate needs help, she volunteers to assist them. Tierrance is also one of our best readers. She can read every one of her classmates' names. She helps me daily, and I can always count on her to do what is right. She also gives the best hugs. We love having her in our class, says Mrs. Erickson. Ms. Erickson, y'all give her a round of applause, please. Thank you. Hold that, baby. All right, we finally had one. Gabriel Reynolds. No, Miss White said not a man another, but we gonna go ahead and read it anyway. All right, Gabriel's family, if you're watching, this is what they had to say. Gabriel loves school. He's always the first to help his classmates and is always so kind. Gabriel's the best example of what a terrific kid is because he always wants to do the right thing and be a great classmate. I'm so thankful and blessed to have Gabriel in my class. Love, Miss Whitlock. All right, that was just nice. Nice. Gabriel, if you're listening and everybody who was not here in attendance, we're just going to give you a little virtual hug right now, a little virtual hug. Okay, moving right along to first grade. Let's talk about our character count student for first grade. Kaysen Smith, come on out here. Yes. All right. Did I get that name right, baby? I did get it right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Respect is a gift to others. You can give it even if others do not deserve it. Somebody then preached right there. Kaysen Smith is a student who often shows respect to others, whether they deserve it or not, and to me. I almost wanted to say whether I deserve it or not, but that was just in my head. This is a sure sign that this character trait is deeply embedded into her moral being. Amazing. Kaysen strives to treat everyone fairly and, more importantly, kindly. She shows respect to her classmates by using kind and encouraging words. She shows respect to her teacher by working hard and trying her best each day. Man, that's important. She shows respect for her school by acting responsibly in the lunchroom, library, and throughout the school. This is what Miss Amanda Winder said about you, Kaysen. You are an amazing student. All right, good job. All right, Angel Santiago, are you in the building? Yeah, y'all give it up for Angel. All right, let's see what's said about you. You know, I didn't see you around. You do behave pretty well, I must say. All right, our terrific kid for the month of December is Angel Santiago. Angel brings much joy to our class. He is always willing and helpful to others in our class. Angel brings much knowledge to our class. Yes, he does. He loves to do math, and he's a great leader. Yes, that's important. He brings encouragement to our class. He works with his partners to help them succeed in any task. Angel is truly a terrific kid. Amazing, Angel. <laughs> Amazing. You are awesome. That's what I said about, oh, that boy hit me with a thumbs up. All right, who else we have? Yes, it's true. I do need counseling if you were wondering about that. Demaria Curry, come on now, chair. All right. Wait a minute. That's Miss Dot Grandbaby. Go ahead on. All right, Demaria is an exceptional student. 
She is well-mannered and polite and always takes care of herself and her classmates. I believe that. She tries to ensure that everyone is kind and is treated fairly. If any one of her classmates is struggling, Damar is the first one to offer help. She's a hard worker and a joy to have in class. That's what Miss Lanier said about you. All right, Damari. <laughs> amazing, baby, amazing. Oh, yes. Brandy Wilford, come on out, cheer. We just love Brandy. We love you, Brandy. Okay, Brandy is an absolute joy to have in class. She's a hard worker, and I rarely have to get on to her. She helps keep other students doing what they are supposed to do. I love her personality. While sometimes she seems quiet, other times she is joking with you and having a great time. She listens quickly, and without having to be told multiple times to do something, I thoroughly enjoy having her in my classroom this year. Year. That's what Miss Spedden said about you. Very good, Brandy. All right. Yes. Congrats. Congrats. Allison Owens. Come on out, Allison. You know, y'all don't have to be quiet. I know we got people in virtual land, but celebrate your people. This is an honor. Maybe I don't need to be like that anymore. Okay, Allison is a terrific kid. She's a conscientious, hard-working student. She's kind and respectful to adults and her peers. She is self-motivated and puts forth her best effort into assignments. She's an enthusiastic learner who enjoys school. She's committed to doing her best and sets an example of excellence in behavior and cooperation. I love you, Allie, and I'm blessed to have you in my class, says Ms. Anderson. Oh, my goodness. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, man. I know your mama's watching. I know that. All right, moving right along to second grade. Come on out, second grade. We are already up. Our character counts person is Mariah Mitchell. Come on out. We can clap for her, though. She's not here, but we still can clap for her. We are running thin. Hmm. Okay, but I'll read it anyway. Fairness is our goal. Mariah is our class choice for the character of fairness. She looks out for others and makes sure they have what they need. She lets me know when someone has missed out on an activity or does not have their materials. She's also very willing to share with her classmates. She's the first to step up and volunteer to help her classmates when they are struggling. We've all been on the struggle bus now. I'm just going to say that. She wants to make sure everyone has a chance to be successful in school. We are lucky to have Mariah in our class watching out for all of us. That's what Miss Meyer said about it. Let's give her a round of applause. In class. That was just so nice. Mariah's people, if you're watching, she's wonderful. All right. Latrell Wilford, come on out. Yeah. Amazing. I, I just want to say that I'm personally proud of you, son. You, you, you came a long way. Latrell has repeatedly been on my super student list each week. He is kind, helpful, and participates eagerly in class. He tries very hard on his classwork. Mm-hmm. He steps up to every challenge I or his other teachers give him. He has grown a lot already in second grade. That's what it's about, son, growth. I'm so proud to have him to be my terrific kid this nine weeks. And I cannot wait to watch him grow even more by the end of the year. That's what Miss Meyer said about you. Y'all give him a round of applause, please. Go ahead. She doesn't want to admit it, but... Amber Simons is over here tickled. And I believe that's because she knows which name is coming up next. Now, I try not to butcher names, but I'm going to have to learn how to say this last name. Okay? Furman. Exocali. Furman. 
Furman, you're going to have to tell me how to say your last name, son. Furman is going to learn that. <laughs> okay. But you are an amazing student, Furman. Go ahead. Keep that head up, Furman, because you, 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 you're a great student. Here we go. Let me read what they say about you. I nominated Furman as terrific kid because he's an amazing student. Yes, he is. He always works hard and tries his best when completing his classwork. Furman always listens and follows my directions very quickly. He's a great example for his peers. He's also a great helper to his peers. Furman is always there to lend a helping hand when they need it. He is meeting our school-wide success criteria mm, mm, by being ready with his attendance. You better preach it. Respectful with your behavior. Mm -hmm. And responsible with your classwork. Can I get a witness? Furman is truly a terrific kid, and I'm so lucky to have him in my class this year, says Miss McDaniel. <laughs> Casey McDaniel. All right, Furman. Yes. 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 All right, Leilani Doc, come on out here. I'm getting the signal. That signal is just simply a head shake. In parentheses, not a man mother. Mm -hmm. All right, but we're going to read this anyway. Leilani has been nominated for our classes. Terrific kid because she's an incredible young lady who is always striving to be the best student and friend that she can be. Not only is she always trying her best on assignments, she's always looking out for her teammates and other students in our class. Miss Doc is one of the kindest hearts I've ever had the privilege of knowing. My goodness, that says a lot. She always checks on me and makes sure I'm okay and happy as well, of the, as, as well as the rest of the second grade teachers. Her smile and abundance of joyful positivity can brighten even the Grinchiest of frowns. Now, Mr. Tony wouldn't let me wear my Grinch hat, but that's all right, Mr. Tony. I can always count on Leilani in any circumstance because she represents every pillar of character counts. That is so wonderful. We are all so proud of our sweet friend. Leilani Doc is an absolute gem, and we are so glad to have her in our class. It would not be the same without her. We love you, Leilani. You are a terrific kid. That's what Miss Videffa said. Yes, Miss Videffa. We love that. Gianna Miller. Yes. Yes. Not quite. Gianna is our second nine weeks terrific kid. She's a wonderful example of what a terrific kid should be. She has done so well with our digital learning and is always eager to participate. She's a polite and respectful student to her teacher and her classmates. Important. I love to see the enjoyment and excitement on her face each day from her computer screen as we learn new and exciting standards in second grade. Being on time and following directions is very important in the digital world of learning also in the brick and mortar world of learning. And she is always present and participating with our class. I'm so proud of the wonderful student she is and the great example she sets for the rest of her classmates. We are so excited and proud to have her as our terrific kid this nine weeks. That's what Miss Voss said. Gonna put our business out there. Miss Boston just had a baby, y'all, and we so proud of her too. Third grade, Kylan Kniebur, come on out here. You're not here, but we're gonna clap for you anyway. Whoa, I could have did this virtually, or not. Okay, Kylan is a true example of a team player. He plays by the rules, not only in the classroom, but outside of our room, too. That is very important. He ensures that all students have their voices heard during team talk and treats his classmates fairly. If there's ever an issue at recess, 
He's a problem solver who can at times acknowledge his own mistakes and make improvements when needed. Colin is also a student that makes sure that all students are treated fairly and with respect. It is a privilege to be Colin's teacher and watch him grow from a boy into a young, tiny little man. Congratulations, Conlon. I am so proud of you. That's what Ms. Marshall said about it. Very good, very good. All righty, let's see who we got next on the list. This is going to our terrific kid for third grade now. Damian Romero, come on out. Yes, yes. Damien Romero is one of those students that simply makes your days better. This is true. He has a, you got a great smile, man. He's quiet and shy, but he can light up the room with his smile. Damien's always willing to take charge on any task that is given to him. He's a true leader. He's always given 110% in everything that he does. Damien, your future is a bright one. You might have to get some shade. Don't stop believing in yourself. I'm very lucky to have you in my class this year. Keep pushing. Keep reaching. But most importantly, keep being you. Congratulations on being a terrific kid, says Ms. Marshall. <laughs> very good, very good. I'm so proud of you. Aubrey Walker, come on out here. All right. You know everybody in the whole world going to see this girl. But that's okay. Aubrey shows respect to all of her classmates, adults, and anyone she sees each day. She's a great leader in her team and is quick to help when she sees someone struggle. Aubrey is well liked by her peers. Uh oh. She's always joyful, and I truly enjoy having her in my class. That's what Miss Fulford said about you. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. Go ahead on. Amaria McIntosh, come on out here. <laughs> Representing Miss Collier's class. I like your hair, sweetie. Go ahead on. Amaria has shown time and time again this year how genuine of a person she is. She works so hard and does her best in anything she puts her mind to. Her peers love working with her because she will do everything in her power to help the team. Her quiet demeanor was first taken as shyness, but as I have grown to know her, I now see she's a leader. She is helpful and willing and will quietly lead her team through any task they are given. I'm so thankful to have the honor to teach such a wonderful student. That's what Ms. Collier said about you. Very good, y'all give her a round of applause. Right here, baby. Okay, we're just chugging right along. Fourth grade character counts. Ava Allen, come on out. Yes. Ava is the kind of student who tries. Yes. She tries to include everyone in all situations. She always tries her hardest and pushes others to try their hardest too. If Ava sees a friend in need, she will provide them with the support they need to succeed. I am so thankful to have this sweet girl in my class. No matter the obstacles in the way, Ava makes her way around it. Nothing gets in her way. I'm so proud of you, Ava, for being the genuinely good person you are. And I appreciate you. That's what Miss Lee said about you. Y'all give her a round of applause. Amazing. Yes. All right, Kobe Hudson. Come on out here. Yes, Kobe. Let's see what your teacher said about you. Kobe is a kind and considerate student who wants his friends to all have what they need. That's what I'm talking Don't lose that, son. That's good. Sometimes, even at his own expense, Kobe looks out for others and does his best to make sure he is treating them the same. He's gentle when interacting with them and puts others' feelings 
before his own. My goodness. He prefers others over him. He highly esteems others. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, very kind. Miss Addie and I agree that no student has earned the kid with character honor for this nine weeks more than Kobe Hudson. Way to go. We love you, Kobe. Yeah. They said great things about you, son. All right, now we're going to our fourth grade terrific kid. Tyrese Irving, come on out here. Yes. Don't be shy. Don't be bashful. Don't be shamed. You earned it. You want to take that mask down just a little bit right there just so the people can see your face because we love you. I chose Tyrese as our terrific kid because he is the type of student I can always count on. He is always doing the right thing, hallelujah, even when others are not looking. Now, that, that's some character right there, what you do when no one's looking. I respect that. He is quiet and strong. Other students are always looking up to Tyrese because they can count on him to help them in times of need. Tyrese is always on task, focused, and prepared for each and every day. He challenges his peers in such a creative way, and they love to work with him. I am blessed to be Tyrese's teacher. That's what they said about you, Tyrese. Amazing. Here you go. Man, that's good stuff. What? I love to see it. Oh, boy, I could just shed a tear. My God from heaven. Daniel Besson, you better come on out here. You better come on out here. I just want to let the people know that you're looking at a success story when you look at Daniel. That's not even in my notes, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a success story right there. All right, we are proud of the way this student carries himself. He's a leader. He is serious about learning, and he has made great strides in his attitude since the beginning of the school year. Daniel is funny, gets along well with his peers, and works hard to have the right behaviors during the school day. When it comes to his work, he gets it done and stays focused even when it is difficult. We love the way he is learning to not allow frustration to block him from overcoming his obstacles. Keep up the good work, Daniel. Amazing, son, amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Katie Nizer. Nizer. Come on out, Katie, yes. Love that little unicorn you got going on there. Let's see what you, let's see what they wrote about you. Katie is a determined young lady who works hard each day to be successful. Her willingness to help others in need comes naturally and makes her an amazing friend and teammate. After missing some school this year, Katie returned eager to work. She asked for extra practice and had a genuine desire to continue to grow academically. I love that Katie always has a positive attitude no matter the obstacles in her way. She's a delight and a terrific kid, says Ms. Kellner. Amazing, Katie. Here you go, sweetie. I can, I can vouch for her, too. She's an, she is amazing. All right. Roy Smith. You're not here, but we're going to clap for you anyway, because you could be watching this. So we'll go ahead and read what we have for you. Roy Smith was nominated because he's a true team leader. Royce is very observant and truly tries to be successful with his team every single day. I can always count on Royce to be in his seat, quietly working or teaming when asked. Terrific is just one word that I would use to describe this student. I am very grateful for Royce and am honored that he was chosen by the class for our second nine week terrific kid. That's what Miss C said. Amazing. We just cutting through right now. We not cutting up, we just cutting through. We gonna go ahead and read our character count student for fifth grade. Timothy Worrell, come on out here. Yeah. Or to listen, 
Timothy might as well be in my family. That's how we go way back. Way back, don't we, Timothy? Way back. Oh, you didn't want to say nothing about that? You didn't want to say nothing about which from which we came. All right, Timothy has shown over the course of the nine weeks what it means to be fair. He's a great leader in his group. He makes sure that everyone has the opportunity to share his or her thoughts. Timothy also makes sure that everyone is treated the same and no one feels left out of any activities. When making a mistake, whether it is with his behavior or in the classroom working on a problem, he takes full responsibility of his wrongdoings and does whatever it takes to make things right. That's what I'm talking about, Timothy. Yes. Mr. Worrell is also a very respectful student, not only towards me as his teacher, but to all the students. Amazing, Timothy. We appreciate you. Awesome. Awesome. We're so proud of you. All right. That was coming from Mr. Holloway, if you don't know. But now you know. We have didn't done a little remix with him. We say, Holloway. So if you see him, that's what you must say. All right. Altalia. Altilla Dean. Come on out. Did I say that right? Atia? I'm sorry, baby. Atila. Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate that. I'm so very sorry. Atila was nominated because she's a great example of what an excellent student should look like. Wow. She works well with others and have excelled at her role as the leader of her group. She makes sure that everyone stays on task and others know what works, what work needs to be done, and how they can achieve it. Her behavior is excellent, and she's a great role model for other students. That's what Mr. Holloway said about you. Congratulations, Atila. I'm sorry, baby. There you go. Wow. Adelina Aikens, come on down. We also go way back. We just love her. Girl, I don't know what we're going to do when you have to graduate and go on. Yeah. Man. Addie is a joy to have in class. Addie's a joy to have in my class. That's what she said. I always look forward to her warm greeting and friendly smile that even radiates through her mask. Addie tries hard and is always, in big caps, always willing to lend a helping hand. Whenever someone is struggling on her team, she volunteers to assist without hesitation. Without a doubt, Addie is truly a terrific kid. That's what Ms. Fell said. Amazing, amazing. We're so proud of you. Gracias. De nada. De nada. Sorry. De nada. Man. All right. Jose Sadana Barbosa. Come on out here. I just, you know what? I hope you love your name as much as I do. Because I love to announce your name. Let's see what they said about you. Jose is one of the sweetest and hardest working students in my classroom. The class chose our terrific kid, and he had an overwhelmingly amount of support from his peers. When asked why they nominated him, Students said that Jose has excellent behavior. He's always on task. He helps friends when they are in need. He listens to all adults. He is kind. He's very smart. And he is an all-around terrific kid. Man, they had great things to say about you, son. I cannot agree more with Jose's classmates. They gave an accurate description of the person that Jose really is. Not only does he excel academically, but Jose is also funny and charismatic. There's no way Jose will ever meet someone that doesn't love him. Oh, man. My, 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 my. He keeps us laughing, and we know we are loved when he's around. Thank you, Jose. You are such an asset to our classroom, and I am grateful you were placed with us. Oh, man, what a, that's what your teacher said about you, son. My, 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 my. You didn't touch her with your behavior. 
you touch, reach down. All right, let's move right along. I think this may be it. You are last, but you certainly not the least. Leah Canty, come on out here, Leah. Yes. Leah is an amazing student. She's always willing to help and has a positive attitude. I can always count on Leah to do the right thing. She always works hard with her academics, and I have already seen a major improvement in her from the beginning of the school year. Leah also has an outstanding behavior, which is something else that makes her stand out. I love having students like Leah in my class. Leah Canty is my terrific kid. That's what Mr. Wilder said. Here you go, baby. We're so proud of you, we don't even know what to do with ourselves. All right. Now, I made up a name earlier. I think I said Putnam.tv, but that wasn't it. You can view this at the Putnam School's website. Yes, says Mr. Tony behind the camera. This will conclude um, our terrific kids ceremony. I just would like for you all again to give yourselves a round of applause, please. Yes. There are some people that you don't see. Mr. Tony probably already cut me off, but I'm going to talk anyway. No, he said he didn't. There's some people that you don't see, you know, because you can't see everybody. But I'd like to give a shout out to Miss Kristen White. She's behind over there. She's behind the doors. She's making it all possible on that side. Miss Stradling is trying to hide from me, but she's making it all possible on this side as well. We really appreciate your help. Really appreciate that. We hear Ms. Coring over there clapping up something. She's getting everybody to clap, all right? Once again, thank you all for um, being and participating in this ceremony. Have a great day. The changes catch your eye, and you come to realize one can make a difference. Reach out, stand out. Find out what it's all about. See it all. Stand tall. Be there to catch them when they fall. Since 1915, Kiwanis International has touched millions of lives through thousands of service programs for children around the world. When you help one child, you help the world. Life is bigger than just one. One can make a difference